back everybody the pro spartan gamer here with sp spartan series on pes 2015 episode 53 after that dramatic win over west ham in the live com we are back to highlight package again now and the first game here is Charlton, and this is the last game in the january window there you see it they are sick they're having a pretty decent season only lost the seven games out of their 28 played We've only lost the four, so it's not going to be a nailed on easy game, but we're expecting to win here at Spartan Park. Let's see what team we can put out for this game. Hopefully carry on our relentless charge for the Prem. So Stephanie, look at the tiredness in the team. Plenty of few people tired there really are. Definitely a bit of fatigue showing in this team at the moment. Had lots and lots of games recently, and it's starting to show a little bit. Majika and Cardenius both not really fit there. So we will make a little adjustment there, and Jerry will get a start. And Cardenius is going to come in off the bench here, um, just to try and save some legs. Penner. Mm, we'll start with Penner, but he's looking quite tired. And back there is a concern. We could go with Giacomo, but... I think we'll leave it and come off the bench. We've got plenty of options on the bench there of Egan, Sloop, Giacomo uh, and the like. But not going to be an easy game against Charlton. They are decent and we have come unstuck to them in the past. We will wear our home kit today for this one. Highlights to follow, guys and girls. Hopefully a Spartan win and continuing this big charge to the promised land. We've got a nice gap now. I think it's about 10 points or so. Already thinking of what business we might be able to do in the summer if we get to the promised land. Not sure what our budget will be, but obviously those people coming in will be different from the ones that if we were to continue in the Skybet Championship. So lots and lots of things going through my head at the moment. Lots of players being played and looked at in exhibition games to see what they're like. Um, we don't take this spartan series lightly we do do plenty of research try and get the best players to the club see which players are available and how much they might cost anyway straight away brian Pereira in around the back door oh he's looking for majika in the middle yarmolenko this is in yarmolenko territory oh and yarmolenko could have opened the door straight away positive start from the spartans buoyed by that win against west ham no doubt and Yarmolenko looking for his 10th goal of the season. Been a fairly successful season for him. Probably not been involved in games as much as we'd like maybe. But he has had a decent season. Penner the man coming. Looking to bend it. Oh Penner. Looking for the bend of the Mexican. A lot of people's fallen in love with this Mexican over recent weeks. The way he's sort of developed and the way he's pinging the ball about. That was a really good shot from Penna. And again. He's coming again. Not picked up again. Penna. Yatambara. No one on the outside of him. Penna again. Oh, looking for a little lollipop. Gets tackled. Don't let him break. Brilliant for Mena. Mena! Oh, gets a nosebleed. Charges forward and has his first shot of the season. Eight minutes gone and Spartans flying out of the blocks here. Great save, Najok. What a massive save that is. Charlton with the best, game, best chance of the game after 10 minutes. And expected him to go 1 0 down and a jot with a huge save. Start feeling the football a little bit more. Majika. Nice little toss up to Jerry and Bagu. Jerry! Oh, post, I think. And just wide. Had to have a go. No, I think it was back stanchion, but there's a good chance for Jerry. That was brilliant from 
Brooks and it needed to be. Beautiful football. Beautiful football from the Spartans. Batistio. Oh. The Ambar Pena. Another good ball looking for Leo Batistio. Cuts in. Lovely ball into the box. Oh. Pena. Oh, long way out. But he hit it with some venom. Good ball retention from the Spartans. Pena heavily involved here in the first 25 minutes or so. Yarmolenko is going to whip this one in. Looking for someone's big head. Lolly popped up. Oh, floaty, floaty from a Chico on the back stick, I think. Just a little lo looping lollipop of a header over. Play from Yarmolenko. And we lose out. And they're in behind there. Brilliant from Batistio. Pena. Half time. What a tight game this is. This is one of those gutsy ones you need to drag out a 1-0 nil, a nil or something. It really is. Charlton have come here to play and cause us problems. We've had one or two good opportunities. We've not been able to finish a, a lot of long shots. A lot of the ball has got to be said. 65%. Will we do anything change-wise? Let's see what it's looking like. Tired bods, I'm sure. Tistia has been pretty effective over there. We are going to bring on Sloop since he's on a red. Give him a run out. Pereira not had his best game. Let's see if the... We are going to go with Vic, with Villalba. So a couple big changes there in the second half. Villalba and Sloop on. Some different bodies out there to try and see if we can make something happen. Straight away, Hector Villalba! He's done it! He's done it! What a substitution! Hector Villalba! He, so many goals this season has been him picking the pocket of, of a defender. And he's picked the pocket and he's held it together and that's a massive goal. Get on there and make something happen, manager said. And look at that. Didn't know whether he's going to get it because he just got held up there. Just as... Pace and his acceleration and his eye for a goal when he got there. And it was a comfortable finish in the end. And Hector Villalba's open to scoring here. Crucial goal off the bench. Big future in the Spartan shirt for Hector Villalba. No doubt about it. He is going to have a very big future. He might not be playing as much as he'd like at the moment. But there he is again. So good at closing down and the press is on. The Spartan relentless press is on. We've seen this in some games before when they do high energy pressing. And they can see that Charlton are a little bit weak. Oh, they got out this time though. Whipping this one in. Looking for Jerry again on the head. Penna out wide. Great play from Yarmolenko. Oh, Sloop on the back stick should do better. Brilliant play from Yarmolenko. He's had a good game today. And Sloop with a chance to bury the points. Pana. Jerry and back in. Oh, he's missed. How did he miss that, Jerry? What a bad miss from Jerry. Probably the first time. He's missed a sitting duck. Expected him to bury that. Really did. Went for the bender. He's made the bender his own a little bit. What a chance. Great tackle from Penner. That was a game on a stick. We're going to root, hopefully not rue that decision. Great defending from Penner. The Mexican. Brilliant from him. And then the border released Jerry and Bagu. And he's finished it. Jerry with a priceless second. All about Penna. What a goal. Jerry and Bagu. Somersault to boot. What a finish.
What play from Penna. Good defending on the in the box on the spot. And Adderby and Jerry and Bagu. His legs get tired. His long legs. His giraffe. Look at him. The whites of his shoes. He's finished on his left this time. Cross the keeper. And the points are ours. And Jerry has another really big goal to add to his portfolio. Defended like warriors today, the Spartans. Not played at their best by a long way, but this is a real grinding result again. They've grinded out a few this year. This is the sort of game they would have lost last year, I think. They've got some real warriors in their side now. The likes of... Brooks anywhere will do. I was going to say, why didn't the goalie come? The likes of Penna, who, like we said before, you know, his family's got nothing back at home. A couple of donkeys and a goat. That's all they've got. And he's, you know, money going home for him. Every last drop of it. So important for him to do his best for the club that's backed him so much. We've seen it out. It's not been the best at times. It's been an ugly performance, many may say. But the second goal from Jerry and Bagu after the first. Oh, Hector Villalba when he picked the pocket of the defender. Two, a massive change at half time for that. That swayed it in our favour, no doubt. Something to hang on to with the Hector Villalba goal. But Minna comes away with the man of the match. I would have given it a pen of myself. Minna picked up that card. Didn't make some crucial interceptions in the second half. And some of the big players didn't play in that game. Majika and Pereira weren't at the races. There's no doubt about it. So it was very important that others stood up to the plate. And they did. In the shape of Jerry and Bagu. Hector Villalba. Yarmolenko had a good game. But so too did Pena. And we've won. And let's have a look at this table. Before we move on to the next game in this highlight package. We're not expecting any transfer activity to happen. Leicester are the ones chasing. And they've lost. So the gap should be even bigger at the top. West Ham and the like. They on the first page, I didn't notice. West Ham managed to win. Blackpool were the other ones. What they done? They've lost as well. So Christ knows what the gap is now. It is now 15 points back to third. The Spartans have a massive 13 point advantage at the top. It's only ours to throw away. The cries of championes that you hear ringing out all around the stadium from time to time is true. And we are top of the league. You cannot deny that the Spartans look like they are Premiership bound. Look at that. Massive 13 points and 15 back to third. You know, we have now played 29 games. There's not that many left. I think it's 17, something like that. The, we could not play five games and that's 15 points. So you've got to think. That we don't need too many more wins to secure this. I can't work it out for the minute. But I will try to at some point for you in the near future. Let's just see. 2.2 million in the red. So there's no chance unless someone comes in for someone. It's too late I think to make any deals. Because there's no transfer deadline day. There is the last day of the window you see with me. So there'll be nothing to report I'm sure. We did put in a cheeky bid for someone. But... Um, that was in case, let me just show you, we went from um, a couple of players there, we've gone for a regenerated Lucinda Torre, which I think would be fantastic to get in as a youngster coming through, someone with a bit of height back there, I think that would wet everybody's whistle, but obviously we can't get him in at the moment, even though he's really cheap, look, we would have traded Dicko for him, but we've got no money to do it, we can't accept the terms, so... That's gone out the window. And then this centre-back we're liking the look of. Member. Member. Or, or member or whatever you're going to call him. He's negotiating terms at the moment. Again. Um, he's going to cost three million. And he might be one we'll have to wait. Probably will be one for the promised land of the Premier League. But he looks very good. If you have a look into his stats. Look at him. Looks a very good defender. Exactly what we need to add competition back there. I like the look of him coming in. I think that will be a definite signing in the summer, no doubt. We've got that to look forward to. And the next game is against who? It's against Burnley, so it's going to be a real tough one. 
there's no doubt we can't do nothing about that negotiation so i don't know why they why they, they're ramming on about it we just have to end negotiations because we can't do jack shit about it we got no money here's a game against burnley and surprisingly they're struggling right down in 19th position which is a surprise but um no real changes to our usual team only well cardenius back in today jerry's going to come off the bench Pereira back up top. Um, Egan in for Yatambara because he's on a red. A little bit concerned about the back three, but we've got not a lot we can do about this. As we said all through the season, we are really short of players back there and that is going to be the priority really in the summer. A defensive midfield player and a couple additional defenders and an another goalie is probably going to be the main thing we focus on and anything else that comes along will be a bonus. Um... That's why we're going to be looking to strengthen mainly in the summer, no doubt about it. So, yeah, anyway, let's crack on with this. We've got reasonable options on the bench. We are just going to take Sloop off the bench and put Yedlin on, just in case we need to go a little bit more defensive in the, on the right-hand side, as we've got options on the left with Zuzak off the bench still. So, Danny Ings obviously going to be dangerous for Burnley. Um, up top, we are going to play in our yellow kit today. Highlights of this game from Turf Moor to come. Can we make it back-to-back -back wins um, and get even a step closer to the promised land of the Premiership with a Spartan army? And, you know, when we get there, there'll be a couple new kits. There might even be a new stadium, a new Spartans intro and everything. So lots to look forward to when we get in there to the promised, promised land. And then the next step after that will be trying to get up to the top flight at the Premiership and look for European football at Spartan Park. That's the, that's, the, that's the aim, to go all the way to Champions League and have some big European nights in the Champions League out at Spartan Park. I cannot wait for that to happen. I'm sure you guys can't. But first of all, we've got a job to do in the Skybet Championship. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. And it's against the Claret and Blue of Burnley, who should give us a decent test, really even though they're languishing lower down the table. I'm expecting them to be a decent team. Um, we managed only a 0-0 draw with them earlier on in the season. So, yeah, it's not going to be a foregone conclusion. Cardenius, back today. Pereira, good play. Majika. Pereira. Majika. Majika, oh, good link-up play between the two. Just shot wide, he didn't go for the banditry, he went for power and it was inches away from nestling. A good encouraging start between the two standout forwards from the season, really. Pereira and Majika, both approaching 20 goals on the season. There is another player who's got above 10 and who's breathing down their necks, and that's that young Jerry. And Bagu, let's not forget his, the season he's had. There's Ings, causing all sorts of trouble in behind. And he scored. Danny Ings has opened the score and we said he was going to be a problem today. Give and go, sold men are, And Danny Ings has got the opener. And Burnley haven't come here to make up the numbers. We're going to be chasing this game now. Missed tackle, look at Minna, got sucked in, went past the board, Ings was in then, and his pace. Lovely football from Burnley. Brooks tried desperately to get across there. The slide was in vain, and the finish from Ings was emphatic, and we are 1-0 down. This could, could be a tough afternoon here at Turf Moor. Can't get complacent with the amount of points we've got. We still want to carry on producing some good performances. Off the woodwork from Burnley. Christ, they've come here. They really are giving their crowd something to celebrate here. They come here with every intention to cause us problems. Go on, Brian Pereira. What a ball from Majika. Ball from Pereira. Brilliant from Danny Ings and the jock keeps us in it. We are under the cosh here from Burnley and we cannot contain 
Danny Ings is playing out of his skin. Pereira, great layoff play. Yarmolenko whipped the ball over. Majika looking for that. Uh, Pereira! Yes! And a goal from nothing. A little loopy doopy header. And Brian Pereira gets his massive forehead on it. And we are back on turns when we have no right to be so. It's, a, it's really no right to be back in this game. But this is a sign of a good team to get something out of a game when you're not really in the races. Good play from Yarmolenko. Ball into the box. Everybody went up for it. And look at this. It dropped and Brian Pereira wanted it. And he got a priceless little header. Not scored a goal like that before. Gets up and gets his noddy on it. And a big, big goal from Brian Pereira. Good from Pena. Majika. Brilliant from Brian Pereira. Oh, rattled the crossbar. What an effort that would have been. Pena. Oh, what an effort from Pereira. Game's come to life here for the Spartans in the last 10 minutes. Thunderous drive from Brian Pereira right on the break. And Spartans could have gone in 2 1 up. They wouldn't have deserved it, but we'd obviously would have taken it. Massive second half to come here. Burnley up for the fight of the Champions Elite coming here. Been a good, decent first half. We will look at, see if we can do anything off the bench, though, because there are a few people that are not up to the mustard today, and Leo Battistio is definitely one of them. And it's going to be another chance for the much maligned Zuzak. Really has had plenty of stuff said about him in the past. Going to have to leave it the same at the back, I think. Or do we bring in Yedlin? Going to bring in the Edlin just to replace a tired Stephanie and see if that pace helps back there. Might be a risky move, but the Edlin is on and so is Zuzak. One change left in the locker. Zuzak straight away with a great forward run. Whip the ball. Found from Penna as well. Raking ball. Cardenius with it. Looking to whip it in. Oh! Majika with a big head. Not his fault. Hey, that was a really good chance. Now the chances are totting up for the Spartans. We've had nearly as many chances as Burnley now. Can we put in a big second half display here? This man is Panna. Pena! Ah! Oh, he's gone! The Mexican! Second goal in a Spartan shirt, and that was with the outside of the right, and that was lovely from the Mexican Pena. What a finish! Picked it up. Big, big tackle. He's getting better and better in this Spartan shirt, this Mexican. Look at this. Opened up in front of him. Gonna go on, go on, hit it, hit it. Outside of the right. Beautiful slot from Pena. Lovely goal. Great moment for all his family back in Mexico. Watching on the TV he bought. And yes, what a, what a finish. Even the goat celebrating that. A lead in a game we don't deserve is, a, is better than anything, really. We've seen Spartan turn it on before in the second half. You just as likely roll out and win this like 5 or 6 1 or something stupid. Yedlin. Very good at bringing the ball out. Brilliant. Oh, that would have been a truly fantastic goal. Lovely play. Who was it? Majika again. Just couldn't wrap his foot around it. All started with a burst from Yedlin. He does give us something different. And he is one we will be looking at for sure. They're keeping the squad. What options has he got? Does very well to keep ball again. Brian Pereira comes short. At Zuzak. Brilliant from Zuzak. Oh! Lovely.
lovely step over and a nice drive from the Hungarian. We don't mind him playing well. He can put himself in the shop window if he likes. 15 minutes, there will be another change. Who is the likely one to come off? Let's look at who's tired. Penner out on his feet. It's going to have to be Penner coming off. And it's going to have to be Yat and Barra coming on. We would have liked to have brought Jerry on, but we can't today. Still hanging on to this 2-1. Great performance from the Mexican Penner again. Certainly growing into a fan's favourite here. Egan. Yarmolenko. Oh, Majika went up for the header. Nice little lofted ball in from Yarma. Brilliant from Yedlin back there. Good defensive work from him. Minnery Yedlin. Yedlin just settling it down a bit. Yedlin again. He's got that little bit of composure on the ball. Home and hose there, hopefully, if we keep our head. Yara Malenko, let's play this out. This has been a real tough game. Nice ball looking for the run of Brian Pereira. Looking, oh, Majika going for something ridiculous. On the far side there, trying to bend it right around. Nowhere near in the end. Yarmolenko, oh, ferocious drive as the whistle blows. And that's a big three points and six points in this episode. We are going up, up, up. I don't think there's any doubt we can say it a bit louder than we did a couple episodes ago. But we are turning this around. That's a good pass completion rate, 84%. In the end, we probably just about shaded that. Good second half performance from the Spartans. Good goal from Penna. Pereira gets my the match. Again, I, 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 I know what you all think, but I'm looking at the Mexican again for the man of the match. And Yedlin, better than 5.5 off the bench, surely. Nothing really from Zuzak apart from that one long ranger. Disappointing from Leo Battistio. Still not really nailed on that position over there. But it's three more points. Let's look at the table before we leave you here in episode 53. It's been another very successful one. Leicester have won, so they keep tight in behind. West Ham have won, so there's no real changes to the table. We now have 70 points though and 81 goals. 100 points and 100 goals is definitely on for the Spartans of the class of 2015 here. There's no doubt about it. We have another 16 games to pick up 30 points. I think we can definitely do that. Got a massive 15 point lead now. Um... I don't know what points tally we actually need to get to to guarantee promotion here. I mean, there's 16 games left. The most Leicester can get to, I mean, they could win, well, I suppose they could win 48 points. So mathematically, they could get to 103. So it's a long way off us actually mathematically being safe yet. But it's certainly looking very good. Just a quick little look at the player records. A couple of people are asking if they can see that a little bit more often. Wigan is the next game up. You have to wait till the next episode for that from Spartan Park. That'll be another hard game. They've given us some real tough battles in the past. Wigan Athletic. Player record. Let's just show you it. Yeah, so we've got joint top goal scorers now in the shape of Majika and Pereira. They both have 18 apiece. But Majika with a massive 11 assists as well to add to it. Which is very good. Cardenius has come back in now with eight assists and six goals. So he's stepped up to the mark very nicely. Nine goals for Yarmolenko. Jerry has 13 goals, which is very good. Hector Villalba with a decent seven also off the bench. Penna now chipped in with a couple goals and five assists. Yatan Bauer, two goals and four assists. So there you see... The makeup down here is a lot of people that haven't really played that much football, to be honest. Um, Selping Dinas, my big penis, two two goals and three assists. But I think his time at the Spartans is coming to an end. 
maybe, and there's a few others down there, maybe also that aren't going to be at the Spartans next year. The likes of Bellasini, Danny Rose obviously isn't going to have his loan move made permanent. Nor, uh, well, Widmar may well be sold as well, without even making an appearance, which would be a bit harsh. But that's the reality of professional football here at the Spartans. We want only what's the best. And only what's the best for the Spartan Army will do. But we are marching to the promised land. And we want you to march all the way with us. So stay tuned for more Spartan action very soon, dudes.